Uh, Potts comes in to bowl, and Yates has clipped that away for four. Rumbles in, that big, strong figure. It's full first up. Sticks out a foot as the ball is driven straight past him, but doesn't get it to it. And it's going to be a boundary first up. Excited to see what he does. He is around the wicket and driven firmly, beautifully by Yates. As Boland is in a shorter ball, and that is just cracked away through the covers. Four runs. Around the wicket he comes again. This time Yates gets bat on that, drives it through the offside for four. He's in, it's shorter, that's pulled away, and there's a lot of vacant territory out on that leg side, and it goes over the deep square boundary. In comes Bolan, and that one is just creamed over the top of the fielder at point. Rugby in the one-day cup, and that's short, and it's pulled by Davis. That could be all the way, is it? Just waiting for the umpire signal, and there it is. Here's Boland over the wicket, and that's just a really wristy slap. <laughs> Boland is in, and now that's just a heave across the line. Results from that. In comes Cass, and that is slammed beautifully. On drive, quite straight. Is it going to get all the way? And yes, it is. Yates waits, in comes Cass, and that is slapped through the covers. Yates on strike, and again slaps that one past the fielder at point, and it's back-to-back -back boundaries. Right arm over, and that's chopped away by uh, Davis. Turn these into deep, big scores. That's uh, carved away by Davis again, same place, just a backward point, and it's a slow outfield, but the ball will still make it. Cutting this one away through the gap between third slip and gully, and it's racing away to the deep backward point boundary and crosses the ropes. He's in the bolts. This is clipped away beautifully by Davis. Wonderful timing. Hit away from the gap between mid wicket and crosses the ropes. The last slip's a bit of a gap between second and third slip, and Davis has pushed that through mid wicket, and that's going to well, has a ridiculously short boundary. That's a little dab shot for four, and it's brought up the century partnership, which I make it Warwick's first opening century partnership since September 2022. This one is run away through the uh, the gully. Potts balls that's cut through the covers nicely, just slightly short of a length, and uh, that's going to just make its way over the rope. Pot in again. A bit more of a yelp from them that time, and that was over-pitched, around about off stump, and it's driven up towards long off, and it's gone for four. He seemed very close to the stumps and played late and delicately. That's a nice shot. Runs all the way down to the deep third boundary. He's in now, last ball from Boland, and that is just delicately dabbed. There we go, got it right. Potts balls, driven, and that's gone away through that short boundary for four. In comes, uh, well, that's short, and it's pulled by Yates. Uh, uh, short and quite slow, and Yates says thank you very much and pulls that the backward point for four. In comes Rain once more, and a very wristy shot behind point. As, as Rain is in, it's a full ball, clipped nicely through mid-wicket, all the way to the boundary. Popular, which disappear quickest. That's uh, driven by Davis, and that's going to go through the offside for four, I think. Is the ball going to get? There it is. And Alex Davis has his third century for Warwickshire. Up. Davis waits and drives that. This time he gets it past the bowler, and it's travelling quickly. It's a short boundary. It's going to go all the way. Rain. It is in again. It's full and it's driven. Just had enough with slightly over pitched, and that is yet another boundary. A Borthwick, that was rather. In it comes Rain, and again, just carved away. Point is chasing it, and it'll pull up in that slower outfield in front of the Holly stand. That brings up the 200 for Warwickshire, and this pair. Uh, Yates and Davies have made it look very comfortable. This next one is uh, a swept shot by uh, Yates, and that's going to go to backwards square for four. Arm over to Yates, who's pulled that out in towards the deep on the leg side. Can't even see where that's gone. Green. 
And there is a big drive down the ground towards the city end. And that is six, and he's got to his 100. So that's the second time he's got 100 against Durham. And he is now on 102, yeah. which was the score he made the last time against them in a draw year in 2021. Cast bowls, and this is driven away beautifully through extra cover. Magnificent shot. Parkinson from the city end bowls to Yates. Yates goes back into his crease and cuts hard at that late and it's shot away. Cast in and bowls and this is picked up <coughs> beautifully off his legs by Yates. Flicked away over the boundary at backward square leg for six. This cast is in again and this is pulled away again by Yates over the mid-wicket boundary this time for a second consecutive six. Well, this one is driven down the ground. Lovely shot, lovely timing, and that's racing away down to the long on boundary for four more. Before he's into his full stride. And that is just straying leg side and punished with ease. And he's in again, and that's whipped away by Yates, as I say that. He's whipped one away for four. Allowed play. Yates down the track, carves this one past Boland. A backward point for four and there's a short boundary there but that brings up the 300 so the second batting point 300 for none this is turning out to be a rather chastening experience from Durham back in division one and Boland in and that's just a nice little wristy slap about 10 15 overs a little late cut there by Davis it's a nice shot down towards third man Reigns chasing after it but it's going to beat him to the boundary down below our commentary position the attack so a bit of off spin from the members end first ball is a full toss and it is just firmly and elegantly driven for four send us a tweet Parkinson is swept by Yates it's gone over the top of rain it's certainly a lot of experience there Ackerman bowls flat and it's full and he's got all of this as Yates that has been tonked when they batted first last week. And next ball is full. He meets it. Stride forward. Surrey in 2000. Ackerman to Yates. He's down on one knee and he's launched that one again. That one's gone even further into the stands. He's bowled a couple in the slot as well. Oh. And that one's in the air. This could be out. Field is settling under it and it's taken. So Yates doesn't get to his double century. And after being carted around Edge Baston, Ackerman has the first wicket of 2024 for Durham. First one in Division One for the side that had to wait an extra week to get out on the field and it's been really tough going for them as well but what a wonderful innings that is from Yates